Hey guys, I'm Sister Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, and welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Last time we ran into the bug again, so uh, to, in order for me to get past it, I had to catch up once again. I decided to use the assist mode just to steamroll back to where we were back both times. So I've answered the second one with that assist. So now we're back. Anyway, let's continue. There's only one reason that there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espion Vector. No way! Well, wait. What of his own key? Couldn't he one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic Sonic's murder? I think Tom and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Uh, has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sav Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Tom? Ah, uh, yes, Tails. I have quite a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed here in the car was a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Keep the saving consistent. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Tom. I'm making a, a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Oh, uh, What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, how dare. Tom, show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or, or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? That feels right. Phew, just organize my thoughts. Oh boy, here we go. I'm not satisfied with getting here nuts. Oh no! Oh 
Well, if I didn't get hit, that would have been it right there, probably. in a trash bin next to the printer. It's a banned ticket website. Tails, don't. Huh, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is, huh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gotten to any of their shows yet, so to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at the specific time and they sell minutes. So the question becomes why was the paper found in the train car shadow stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. Is the situation becoming much clearer? I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Fox Sunny Bandit ticket website exists because... What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get my me concert tickets for my birthday? Tch. I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging into the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Hold up. Yes. That's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. <sighs> When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed out the home page. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but it would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased, purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plans fleet of flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, your gesture is so sweet, and I, after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. Uh, I don't know if... Too late. It's happening. Ah! I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Ugh, fine. Amy asks Shadow on a date. <laughs> Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from that concert, you two. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like the mysteri mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. 
I blame the so my source on all of this. This wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious, who is the source of your, uh, big scoop? I'd like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strange, strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this to the, to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Time, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are all coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale. We'll pin down Smack Smarter for good. Right on. Let's do it. Ready? Hold on. Now let's go. Let's finish this. It's now or never. Oh. Should really sort out everything. Oh, in my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. It feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd, I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Sus. Thus, we saw him, he was leaving. He left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Wow, the conductor looks so young in this uniform. He's been here a long time, about 32 years. He told me he's finally retiring. He said he'd headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they're having a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them all a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Ah, uh, yes, I wish that too. A microphone? We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Tom, why are you reaching for the mic? Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Tom. Thank you for sharing. This robot arm has completely torn off. <gasps> Sus. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It's been tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. Broken arm. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Fwa ha ha ha. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise? Alright, we get it. He loves his wife. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh no, just how to work the wake wave I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I completely trusted you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You drive the train... F you drive this train flawlessly. Ah, oh, shucks, guys. There you go. What's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. 
Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Oh! That shouldn't be possible! Tells us right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make note of this. Mordor added. I think we found enough I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this case once and for all. But first, you know I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. <gasps> You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they always say check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go on a high on a high note. <gasps> you fiends! Well, you two think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we ma we named a suspect. What do you think, Tom? Ready to solve this case? Sure. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. <laughs> Everyone is... and I can't save. Okay. One... now can I save? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Tom. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Oh. Vector. Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? Oh, that's sorry, that was Amy. Real quick, can you come here with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready? Let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many emmet amenities I feel so catered to admittedly I've been trying out I've been having a lot of fun myself the amusement of a of a chase I see why you you're a detective outside of the mystery SPO you and I uh, love a good thrill it seems but on this train I am a humble poet I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we can ride the train just to relax some time. Huh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! What in the world? That's Amy's voice! Quick, where's Amy? Uh, he... he's not responding to us! Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic... Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down! Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take it this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So ask again, which one of you did this? <laughs> that look. Uh, hmm. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm gonna expose who the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too. Same. We're gonna figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, he really was hurt the whole time, and I did nothing. I'm right. Ding my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Tom, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Alright, let's save it. It's 
probably going to be none of the above, right? Because everyone had an alibi. That can't be right. Neither does. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. Can be the murderer. Oh, that's right. Let me pick again. Who in this room did the deed? We just got to the bottom of his motivation, remember? Shadow was locking all the doors, so I would, so I, I wouldn't see him buying me a gift. What a sweetie. Let me think again. Who in this room did it? Hmm, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Oh well, um, when I'm put on the spot like this, it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. I don't see it. Think, Tom, who was the one suspect Shadow didn't see when he was work walking through the train? Who in this room did this? Espio! You're the one who murdered Sonic! Weren't you? Uh, I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library card, reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Tom, can you fill everyone in? What did we bring- find that brings it into Espio's alibi? Alright, let's save it here with our choices. There we go. Espio wouldn't have have left- Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we fa even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions with hope flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Tom and I can explain that too, Tom. How did Espio know everything in the train in the train manual he was reading? Espio's a poet. I feel such a profession would make you quite the reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee you're yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I know Espio a long time. He once sped speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, Espio. If I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're the only only talking in what ifs, let me throw you something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio even know that it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Tom and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does, Tom. Who here has evidence to prove that Espio knew about the hidden passage? They told us we can see something later, and now is the time to take a look. Uh, oh, 
Oh god, I feel terrible I don't remember this. I'm a net of people! Rouge, we did see those blueprints. Blueprints, you stole blue. You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for. for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. That's right, here's a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Tom, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio see have had those blueprints? There's a code included with the blueprints. I thought that was odd. That code is classified information. Could these blueprints have belonged to the conductor? That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling blueprints out to show me sometime during the, my interview. Espio could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the passage, and, stu and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car. No way. In my theory, Espio look uh, looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With the enemy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Tom and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure on how as much harm SBO caused Sonic, but Tom and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Okay. Oh, let me save it before this, because this is where the game gets all funky wonky on me. Come on, focus. What would Sonic do? No! Try again. God damn it. I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> I was tricked. My logic is falling off of a cascade of peril. Oops. God damn it. God damn it. Ugh. Where to jump on this one, huh? Ugh. 
Oh, the bouncy pad did it to the job. God damn it. That's uh, so I'd both get hit so early. God damn it. Ugh. The gapping here is terrible on me. It's so short. Bouncy pad. Uh, these bouncy pads require you to press something, I guess, because sometimes it's automatic, sometimes you gotta press something. one until next time.